Hey there, Rodrigo here, and in this short video I want to show you how the grid layout works in Textual. So, I'll start by creating a very simple app. And I'll import, sorry, I was thinking, from the Textual containers, I'll import the container grid. And from the widgets, I'll just import the placeholder widget, which will add some color. Now I'll create our grid app. And this is an application. And in Compose, inside the grid container, I'll yield a couple of placeholders with one letter IDs because I'll want to target them with some CSS. CD. Now let's run this. Agreed app.run. And also let's link the application to a CSS file. CSS path equals my app.tcss. Now what I'll do is I'll get rid of this. Now I'm going to run my application, text will run, but I'll use the dash dash dev switch. So text will run dash dash dev my app.py. And this looks like this. So I just stacked my placeholders vertically. And what I'll do is I'll make sure I'll resize the console, the terminal and the the editor. And the placeholder just just shows you the dimensions, some placeholder text or the ID. So it's nothing fancy going on. Now what I'll do is, because I'm running my application with the textual commands and dev tools enabled, I can change the CSS here and it will reflect live. So what I'll start by doing is, I'll show you the grid size rule or style. And this determines how many rows and columns my grid has. So right now it's a 2x2 two two grid. If I change this to a 4x2, I see that I have 4 columns and 2 rows and the second row is empty. Or if I change this to a 3x3, three three, I get this. Now this also shows you that the grid is filled from left to right, top to bottom. And if you don't have enough widgets to fill the grid, then that's fine. Those spaces will be left empty. Now another thing you can do is, you can, on a widget that's inside a grid, you can do something like column span 3. And now what this says is, the widget with the ID A spans three columns and that's why the A over here is taking up all of the first row. And similarly you can say that B, C and D their row span is two. So they span across two rows and that's why B, C and D are now taller and take up the second and third rows. Alright, so this is the very basics of a grid layout. By the way, the grid itself, the container, this here, this is just a regular container with a CSS rule setting its layout style to grid. Okay, so this is a valid CSS option, but typically instead of writing this in CSS, we use the container itself because then it's also visible in the code that this will be laid out in a grid. So this is just, these are the, the I'll say that these are the three most basic styles that are related to grids. I'll link to the grid documentation below and in the next video I'll also show you a couple of other things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!